Tip number four on how you can get more distance on your goal kicks. This one is all about balance and I want to start with the plant foot straight away. So when we're coming into the ball, if we're too rushed and we're out of control, it's really hard for this plant foot to give us that nice stable base to actually get a good strike on the rugby ball. So we want to stay balanced one for that point as well. When we're coming into the ball, I quite often see a little stutter happen, so I'm getting really excited, I want to make my kick, I'm coming in, I'm stuttering, and I'm losing my balance and control again. So let's just try and make sure every time we're kicking the rugby ball that we keep things the same, take the distance out of it. If we get a nice, uh, strong energy store, if we get everything right, if we're balanced, uh, sweet timing on the ball is going to help us get the ball there. So I want to stay nice and balanced on this kick, stay slow, trust my timing. Thank you for watching that Rugby Bricks YouTube video. Before you move on to the next video, I do just want to talk about two things briefly. I have got the Rugby Bricks Kicking Tee range ready to show you guys. In my hands, I've got the RB Wolf Kicking Tee 46mm and the RB Wolf Plus, which is the same design, just slightly higher, which is 72mm. Both these two tees have been used on the international rugby stage and do come in a range of different colours. Click the link below to check that out. Also, next up in the range, we have got the Vortex. This is the, the lowest of the Vortex range, the RB Vortex uh, low cut. Then we've got the RB Vortex mid cut, followed up with the RB Vortex high cut, which is the highest kicking tee that we have. Got 112 millimeters, so 112, 92, and 76 millimeters across the range. They do come in a range of colors, all made and designed in New Zealand. As I said, there is a link below where you will be able to see the full range of kicking tees, all the different colors. Lastly, every kicking tee comes with one of these wristbands that you can wear, I never take mine off. It's got the message of outwork and outlearn on them. Next up, we have also got the RB Journal. Now, just like why you can't remember what you had for dinner three weeks ago, the same thing happens with our kicking technique in all those sessions that we are doing, hence why we came up with the journal. It was something that I used, and even if it's not the Rugby Bricks Kicking Journal, I want you to start journaling and start recording all your sessions. All those little techniques and learnings and, and things you're picking up, the trends in your kicking game, the reason why you're missing, you'll start understanding the trends. So we've, we've gone and made a journal. In this journal, it does explain the full 10 pillars of goal kicking, uh, it has got working pages and throughout the journal you can organize your technique based off the 10 pillars and then we explain so for instance we've got here pillar number three long target so that talks you through it you can write down your own details there's space for that and the coolest part of this is the field maps that we've put in you can see there on camera we have got the rugby field where you can start documenting the trends where you're kicking from and really just understanding all your kicking sessions so i'd highly recommend picking up the rugby bricks 10 pillars kicking journal plus a kicking tee what a great combo and way to get started thanks for watching this rugby bricks youtube video please subscribe to the channel on other platforms it generally is a lot quicker form content but on youtube we have the full explanations all the different coaching cues and techniques that you can use within your own playing or coaching game so make sure you do subscribe to the youtube channel you will pick up all the latest information and things everything rugby bricks thanks for watching i'll see you again on the next rugby bricks youtube video